Hello and welcome to the series of video lectures on the subject microprocessor for second year IT students. I am Dr. Sri Shilsarad Gajbhar and in this video lecture we are going to continue the topic of our last video that is addressing modes used in case of machine language instructions. At the end of this session students will be able to list out various addressing modes used in case of instructions involving branch addresses. They will be able to calculate the effective branch address for various addressing modes used in case of branch addresses. Usually it consists of many fields with one of the field namely operation code or opcode. Opcode tells the CPU which operation has to be performed. The remaining fields are called as operands. The general instruction format is as shown in the figure. The first field is called as the opcode and the remaining fields are called as operands. Usually one or two operands are used for 16 bit computers. If two operands are used then one of the operands should involve a register. In the last video we have defined addressing mode as the way in which operand is specified. For 8086 case they are categorized as those for data and those for branch addresses. In the previous video we have studied in detail data related addressing modes which are classified into seven types. The first is immediate addressing mode, the second is direct addressing mode, the third one is register addressing mode, fourth one is register indirect, fifth is register relative, sixth one is based index and seventh is relative based indexed. In this video lecture we are going to study about branch related addressing modes. Branch related addressing modes are classified into four groups namely intra segment direct addressing mode, intra segment indirect addressing mode, inter segment direct addressing mode and fourth one is inter segment indirect addressing mode. Here the aim is to find the effective address of the branch address. In this case registers involved are instruction pointer, code segment register. Both these registers are used in case of physical address calculation. The physical address in this case is the branching address where the control will be transferred in case of branching instructions. We will also make use of data segment register which is used in case of effective address calculation. Now in this case the physical branch address is calculated as the sum of contents of the code segment multiplied by 10 in hexadecimal plus new contents of the instruction pointer. The contents of the instruction pointer in this case are nothing but the effective branch address. Let us learn in detail the first addressing mode that is intra segment direct addressing mode. In this case the physical branching address is in the same segment where the branching instruction lies. Okay. So the effective branch address in this case is the sum of an 8 bit or 16 bit displacement and the current contents of the instruction pointer. So this is the figure as you can see here instruction provides displacement which is of 16 or 8 bits and contents of the instruction pointer are added to get the effective branch address. This addressing mode may be used with either conditional or unconditional branching. If it is used for conditional branch instructions then it can only have 8 bit displacement. The second addressing mode is intra segment indirect addressing mode. Here the effective branch address is the contents of a register or a memory location. The effective address in this case is calculated using any of the data related addressing mode except immediate. The data related addressing modes we have seen in the previous video and we can use every data related addressing mode except the immediate one. So 
the contents of the instruction pointer are here replaced by the effective branch address which is calculated using the data related addressing mode except immediate addressing mode this addressing mode can be used only in unconditional branch instructions this is the figure for intra segment indirect addressing mode as i have told earlier the instruction provides the addressing mode which can be any of the data related addressing mode except immediate the ea that is effective address is computed according to the specified addressing mode and it can be the contents of a register or it can be contents of a memory location that is effective branch address is either a content of a register or it can be a content of a memory location now pause the video for 2 minutes and write down the answer of the following question i hope you have written the answer the answer is instruction pointer the next addressing mode is inter segment direct address in this addressing mode the physical branching address is in the another segment so that is why the name inter segment now in this addressing mode there will be new contents for the code segment register as well as for instruction pointer register now the contents of these two registers will be specified in the instruction so the contents of the instruction pointer register are replaced with the offset value given in the instruction whereas contents of the code segment register are replaced by the segment value provided in the instruction so this addressing mode can be used as a means of branching from one code segment to another the next addressing mode is inter segment indirect addressing mode in this case the contents of the instruction pointer and code segment register are nothing but the contents of the two consecutive words in the memory and these memory locations are referenced using any of the data related addressing modes except immediate and register modes so this is the figure for this addressing mode in this case the instruction provides the addressing mode which can be any of the data related addressing mode except immediate and register mode in this case the effective address are computed according to the addressing mode which is specified in the instruction and the branching address offset and segment address are nothing but the contents of the two consecutive words in the memory so let us see some examples to demonstrate indirect branching with some data related addressing modes suppose contents of the bx register are 1 to 56h contents of the source index register are 5 to 8fh and displacement provided is 20a1h then if we use direct addressing mode then effective address in this case are the contents of sum of displacement plus ds register multiplied by 10 in hexadecimal if we consider register relative addressing mode assuming bx register then effective address in this case is the sum of contents of the bx register and displacement plus data segment register multiplied by 10 in hexadecimal if we consider the base index addressing mode then assuming bx and source index registers then effective address in this case is the sum of contents of the bx register that is 1 to 56 plus 5 to 8f which is nothing but the contents of the source index register plus data segment register multiplied by 10 in hexadecimal now in this example let us assume bx contents are 1f 3ch contents of the source index register are 3 to 4fh and displacement is assumed to be 57 b2h and contents of the ds register are 1 to 00h then the effective address for direct addressing and base index addressing mode is calculated as ea is equal to 57 b2 which is nothing but the displacement plus data segment register contents multiplied by 10 in hexadecimal that is 12000h which is equal to 
वन डबल सेवन बी टू इन हेक्सा डेसीमल इफ यू कंसिडर द बेस इंडेक एड्रेसिंग मोड देन इफेक्टिव एड्रेस इन दिस केस इज सम ऑफ वन एफ थ्री सी विच आर कंटेंट्स ऑफ द बी एक्स रजिस्टर प्लस कंटेंट्स ऑफ द सोर्स इंडेक्स रजिस्टर प्लस डी एस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन इन हेक्सा डेसीमल सो द फाइनल आंसर इज वन सेवन वन एट बी इन हेक्सा डेसीमल दीज आर दी रेफरेंसेस थैंक यू